What have you done, Doyun? Your ignorance and selfishness, your silence is so obvious. Hey, I want her, I, I want her to hate me. I know she loves me. She loves me so much. That's why I want to her I want her to start a new life without me. But I mean, don't you even care about her? Of course I do. I mean, why though? Why do you need to hurt yourself? It's, it doesn't make sense. You know, you know what my mom said to me. If you were to get married to a Malay, you can assume that I'm dead. I really don't understand. Why would your mom not agree? And uh, how about your dad? You know, my dad is cool with it. It's just my mom. She's against different religions. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Isn't your sister-in-law a Malay? Your brother is a Muslim, right? That's why. That is the reason. I have no choice. There's only two of us, Azam. And my mom. She insists of me marrying to a Christian girl. Get it? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I get it. Well, you are her only hope to keep the family tradition. I understand. Uh, but, I mean, have you tried talking to her? Have you tried convincing at least your mom? I'm still contemplating. You know the pros and cons. And, and you know, I really feel sorry for Nellie. The way she looked at you, she's obviously so in love with you, man. I'm, I think... She, you have the same feelings too, the way you look at her. Does she know that you're quitting on her now? Dude, please just keep it to yourself for now. Well, I mean, you should inform her that you are quitting and going back to Korea for good. You, it's the least that you could do. Azam, like just I said, please let her hate me. Okay, okay. I see that you are... Okay, you already decided you made your decision. 